Okay, the bitter cold temperature is here and I've been talking about winterizing your ponds and the use of aeration and I'd like to show you real time why we like aeration over traditional heaters or anything like that and what better time to do it than when it's 16 degrees out. Let's take a look at the pond. Aerator tucked away in a Rubbermaid container keeping the weather off of it. But this is the beauty of having aeration on your pond in the winter time. Um, if that water was not moving, this would be solid over with ice pretty quick. I know our, some of our holding tanks already have a couple inches of ice on it, but just by that water rippling, uh, it's keeping the water moving, keeping a nice big opening. You can see our fish are still just hanging out down there. And um, if we were to stay below freezing temperatures for a month, this hole would slowly start to creep down and close up, but we don't worry about it. As long as that aeration is running and you can hear that bubbling of the ice, um, it's kind of a set it and forget it type device. Um, don't really worry about it. Just keep an eye on it. As long as you see that bubbling going on, you know that you're doing everything you can to make those fish happy over the winter. And um, if it did ice right over entirely, which it will do um, occasionally for extended cold periods, uh, we'll get a nice little bubble of ice over the top of that aerator. And um, But again, you don't have to worry about it because those fish are down there all that air that's being in there will just force its way out of the cracks in the edge of the ice and um, by far the lowest maintenance and most reliable way i've found to overwinter your fish hope that helps take care